Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is, you know, not something that I was originally planning on doing, but I decided that it was important to, you know, keep up with current events and address certain concerns that are in the public right now. Now, if you've been watching any sort of news source or you're getting on Facebook, Instagram, anything like that, I'm sure you've seen plenty of stuff about the coronavirus or the COVID-19 that's spreading around right now. Now, one issue with that is that people are going to the stores and they're just like buying everything out. And one of those things that they're buying out is toilet paper. So, you know, the people that are, that are hoarding it, they're getting plenty, but then you got other people that are going to the store and there's nothing there. Now, I believe during during one of the world wars, maybe the second one, there was this saying, use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. Now, of course, in the case of toilet paper, you don't want to be doing without. So I decided to take it upon myself to figure out how to make it. Now, of course, the first consideration with something like this is what kind of wood are you going to use? Now, the first thing that came to mind was softwood. You know, I mean, that just seems appropriate. The only problem with that is that most softwood has a lot of sap in it and, you know, it's kind of sticky and yeah, just that doesn't sound like a good idea. So softwood's out of the running. We got to come up with something else. So the next best idea is to go with a hardwood, but go with a softer type of hardwood. So I started looking through my log pile over here and seeing what kind of woods I had available. And the first one that caught my eye was ash. Now, you know, it's just something about it, it sounded right. I, I'm not sure why, but I pretty quickly ruled that one out because it's kind of a hard hardwood. So we needed to come up with something softer. Now, the next thing I saw was some poplar. Now, poplar is also hardwood, but it's kind of a softer hardwood. So I thought, you know, that, that might work. So we're gonna give that a try. And then the next thing that caught my eye was this guy over here. Now, this right here is something called Tree of Heaven. It's a really invasive kind of species around here. I think it was imported initially, you know, as an ornamental, but then it started taking off and spreading way beyond what people wanted it to. So it's an invasive and it grows super fast. You get little clusters of it. And as it just so happens, there's a little stand of it right here behind the mill house. So it's readily available, it's renewable. So I figured, you know, we might as well give this a try. Another thing with Tree of Heaven is that it's really not good for anything. Uh, it doesn't make good lumber, in fact, a lot of people would probably say that it makes pretty crappy lumber. So it just seemed appropriate that we try using this for toilet paper. So without further ado, let's get going. All right, so we got our two logs over here. This first one right here is the Tree of Heaven. Now, I've never actually milled Tree of Heaven before. I think it tends to be a bit more brittle, so it may not work because, of course, we got to get this stuff into some sort of roll if we're going to use it. So the Tree of Heaven may not work. So that's why we have Poplar as our plan number two. All right, so we got our milling done here and the results are in. So we tried the Tree of Heaven first over here 
it it really just did not work too well it's a little too coarse of grain it, it tended to just want to kind of fall apart it didn't hold together well and you know you really need it to hold together at least somewhat well right so tree of heaven that's out of the running so next up we tried the poplar here and the poplar actually worked very well. So as you can see, we got a nice continuous piece here held together really well. Now there's a very, very fine line between having it too thin and too thick. I would rate mine, of course it's, it's single ply, but I would rate it at about a three to four ply thickness because that's about as uh, thin as you can get before it starts to come apart. So prob probably about a three or four ply. So this is high quality stuff here, high quality stuff. Now, of course, I know you all are wondering, does it roll and to answer your question we just need to turn around here 90 degrees and as you can see we have two rolls of it right here ready to go they are individually held in place with a piece of feed bag string hand tied these are all one of a kind pieces here and one nice thing about this is it's coreless there's no pesky little tube in the middle so you know we're using the whole thing there's no leftover bits of it so we're, we're really trying to be green here you know get rid of any excess waste uh, materials that you would have out of this. Now I'm sure you're all wondering how can I get my hands on some of this stuff. We still got to iron out some of the wrinkles with this but I'm hoping to really start uh, ramping up production this week. Once it's available for purchase you can go to landislegacyfarm.com slash shop and it will appear on there. For right now we are just going to have the standard cut like this but eventually we may expand into a live edge as well but for now it's just going to be straight cut just like this. We haven't quite worked out a price on this yet of course we got to you know factor in all the research and design labor manufacturing all this stuff into it so uh, I don't have a price for you quite yet but like I said just check the website and once it's available it'll be on there so I think that's gonna be it for this video uh, we got a product in the works here so I just wanted to let you know that we should be releasing this sometime in the near future in all seriousness though wash your hands keep a good distance away from people stay safe out there and I'll see you next time